Hi everyone, today I'm presenting my work on hierarchical adversarial connectomic domain alignment for target brain graph prediction and classification from a source graph. This work has been done at Basira Lab by myself, Aleb Static, and supervised by Dr. Mohamed Ali Mahjoub and Dr. Islam Rikik. In several neuroscientific studies, data derived from magnetic resonance imaging or MRI might be incomplete where different modalities are missing or if it is longitudinal, several time points are missing because of the patient dropout. To address this issue, recent medical synthesis works use deep learning methods to synthesize Euclidean structured data, such as predicting MRI from positron emission tomography or PET imaging. However, these deep learning methods might fail in handling non-Euclidean geometric data, such as graphs, so, we proposed in this work a geometric deep learning GDL method for graph synthesis. There are many studies encountering the problem of medical data synthesis. A recent one predicts PET scan from computerized tomography or CT scans using conditional generative adversarial network and a fully convolutional network. However, it overlooks the graph synthesis issue, especially the prediction of a target brain graph from a source brain graph. Knowing that the source and target domains have different statistical distributions, there is a need to account for domain fracture when making such an interdomain prediction. A few studies aim to handle the domain misalignment when synthesizing medical images. For example, Young and co-authors adopted cycle GAN to predict MRI data from CT data. It is basically a bidirectional domain alignment method where they mapped the CT source domain to the MRI target domain and then learned the reverse mapping. However, such method learns a flat domain alignment as it only moves the source domain to the target domain as illustrated in this animation. Basically, they are unable to learn the hierarchical structure that exists within the resulting aligned domains. We mean by hierarchical alignment a multiple and successive domain alignments where each alignment depends on the previous one. Here we illustrate an example of a hierarchical domain alignment with two levels. At the first level, we move the source to the target domain so that their distributions are slightly aligned. At the second level, we move the resulting aligned source domain to the original target domain. This improves the alignment of both distributions by capturing the hierarchical structure existing between both domains. To the best of our knowledge, there is no work predicting a brain graph from a source graph using the hierarchical domain alignment. To fill this gap, we propose Hierarchical Adversarial Domain Alignment, or HADA, a GAN-based framework for brain graph prediction. First, we successively learn the latent representation of source and target morphological brain graphs to hierarchically align the source and target domains. This captures the hierarchical structure existing in source and target domains. Second, we use connectomic manifold learning and a cross-domain sample selection strategy to predict the target brain graph. This enforces the local consistency across source and target domains to better select the samples. And finally, we classify uh, healthy and disordered subjects using their original source graphs and their predicted target graphs. This shows how the predicted target graphs can help better diagnose neurological disorder. Our HADA framework comprises three key steps. The first one is hierarchical domain alignment, the second one is target graph prediction, and the last one is the disease classification. Let's start with the hierarchical domain alignment. In this step, we propose to learn multiple and successive graph embeddings where each embedding depends on the previous one. We leverage adversarially regularized generative autoencoder, or ARGA, a recent GAN-based method devised for a graph embedding that takes as input the feature matrix and the adjacency matrix of the graph. In order to align the source to the target domain, we propose to construct the feature matrix using the source brain graphs and the adjacency matrix using the target graphs. 
Each subject has a source brain graph that is encoded in a symmetric brain connectivity matrix capturing the pairwise morphological dissimilarities between brain regions. So, we extract and vectorize the upper diagonal part of each matrix. Then, we vertically stack the feature vectors of all training subjects to get FSTR matrix representing the training source graphs. On the other hand, we propose to use Multi-Kernel Manifold Learning Algorithm or MKML to learn the STTR similarity matrix of the training target graphs. This algorithm uses multiple kernels to learn the similarity between subjects and it can efficiently capture the heterogeneous distribution of our brain graphs. So, our adversarial domain alignment is a graph autoencoder where a graph convolutional network or GCN encoder takes as input the two constructed matrices and produces the embedding of the aligned source graphs. And the decoder aims to reconstruct the target agency matrix S. The resulting source to target alignment is regularized using the discriminator D align which distinguishes between real data distribution and fake data distribution generated from our encoder. Since we propose a hierarchical mapping of source to target domain, we consider the adversarial domain alignment as a baseline level of our method. Basically, we map the original source brain graphs FSTR to the target domain represented by the learned similarity matrix STTR. In the next level, we learn a second adversarial domain alignment, which maps the learned embedded of the aligned source graphs ZS to T1 to the target domain represented by the learned similarity matrix STTR, and it is regularized by the same discriminator D align. Now we repeat the same process of hierarchically aligning the source graphs to the target graphs by successively learning their embeddings until we reach the final level H. In that way, our HADA hierarchically moves the source graph distribution towards the target graph distribution via a nested embedding strategy of both domains, where the learning of the current embedding level depends on the previously learned embedding. Since each of the domain alignment levels is a GAN-based method, we formulate the cost function at level H as the following min-max loss function. Basically, the generator tries to minimize this function while the discriminator tries to maximize it. The de-align discriminator acts as a classifier which distinguishes whether the embedded aligned graphs are coming from a real distribution or from the GCN encoder, and the E represents the cross-entropy cost between the real and generated distributions. Following the domain alignment, now we will predict the target graph of a testing subject using the hierarchically aligned domains. So, we propose to select for a testing subject a local neighborhood where only its k nearest neighbors are identified in the source domain Next, we find their corresponding graphs in the target domain. Within the set of neighbors, we further select the M neighbors, which share the highest cross-domain overlap, which means that they have the most shared local neighborhood between aligned source and target domains. And finally, we average their corresponding target graphs in the hierarchically aligned domain. I would like to remind you that in the previous step we have aligned the source to target domains using their training graphs. Since we have a new testing subject, we need to represent it in the same way that we represented the hierarchically aligned graphs. So, we train another ARGA to learn the embedding of this testing subject in the source domain. Specifically, the stacked source feature vectors of the training and testing subjects are represented by FTR plus TSS matrix and the learned similarity matrix using their source graphs is denoted by STR plus TSS matrix. Similar to the previous domain alignment models, the energy function of this source embedding model is represented by a min-max loss function. 
Next, we use the source embeddings of the training and testing subjects and the hierarchically inlined source embeddings of the training subjects to learn two separate connectomic manifolds. We propose to leverage MKML to learn these manifolds that captures the relationship between subjects using their learned embeddings. Next, we identify in source manifold the k closest training subjects to the testing subject. And for each of these k identified samples, we select the ls and lt lists of their nearest neighbors across both source and target manifolds. For example, here, the k1 neighbor has one out of four shared samples, which is very small overlap. However, the second neighbor k2 has three out of four shared samples, which is a very high overlap across domains. In this case, we trust the k2 neighbor more than k1 neighbor for the target prediction task. In the last step of our HADA framework, we propose to evaluate the reliability of our predicted target brain graphs for diagnosing neurological disorders. Now we concatenate horizontally the source and the predicted target feature vectors extracted by vectorizing our graphs. Then we use a random forest model to classify the disordered and healthy subjects. In our experiments, we used 75 autistic subjects and 75 normal controls from the Abide dataset. Each subject has two morphological brain graphs, the maximum principal curvature and mean of average curvature. For evaluation, we used leave one out cross-validation scheme. We also used grid search to determine the optimal parameters of random forest classifier. We evaluate our framework in two different ways. As a first evaluation, we use mean absolute error or MAE to measure the prediction error between the ground truth graphs and their corresponding predicted graphs. We compared our framework against two methods. The first one uses MKML for predicting the target graph and does not learn a domain alignment, while the second one is an ablated version of our HADA where the hierarchical domain alignment is replaced with a flat domain alignment. We report MAE results of each of these three methods, MKML, ADA and HADA, when considering maximum principal curvature and the average curvature as the source graphs. We can see that in both figures, our HADA framework largely outperformed comparison methods. This demonstrates that our proposed hierarchical domain alignment improves the brain graph prediction accuracy from a source graph. For the second evaluation, we report the classification accuracy of each method using the source and target graphs independently and the concatenated source and predicted target graphs. Both figures illustrate that our HADA achieved the highest classification accuracy when including the predicted target graphs with the source graphs. We introduced in this work a GAN-based framework for target brain graph prediction from a source graph. We developed a hierarchical domain alignment to capture the hierarchical structure existing in both source and target graphs and we applied it to predict morphological brain graphs of healthy and disordered subjects. We show that the target graphs predicted from our HADA framework can improve the autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. We aim in the future to extend our framework to jointly predict multimodal graphs from a single source graph and we will evaluate the robustness of our framework to adversarial attacks. For more, please visit us at basira-lab.com and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and cite our work. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.